All right, well, hello again. Another day, gonna give it a go. You guys saw this on the last video. And then thinking about it last night, I'm gonna have to take out all the windows anyways. So what I'm gonna do is take them out now, see if I have any other rot problems so I can get them all done at the same time or get them done as quickly as possible and then get the windows back in if that's possible. And more than likely we'll have to take out or take off the skins anyways. So there's the other side. So I'm gonna be doing that. So I just wanted to give you a quick show and as I get things done, I will take some more movie, some more video, all right? So with that, show you guys my progress as I go along. Talk to you later, bye-bye. Okay, update for today. All windows are out, all trim is off. As you can see, the door is off. Lights, I had lights in the back that are off. The temporary lights are there, but they're not on the bumper. That's not gonna bother me and it's not gonna worry too much about that. So what I'm gonna do now is on the other side, and I'll go back over there in just a little bit. Said I'm gonna go over, over here and start removing these panels. This panel here, that somewhat brownish panel there is fading. And then here, I wanna see here, the door looks good, door jam looks good, but what I need to get to is underneath here. So I wanna see what I can do, and then if I have to remove that um, box on the inside, move it out of the way, lift the floor up so I can get to this it looks like off a 2x4 support because it's part of what's attached to the frame that's what's bad so I will be um, removing that and that's what I'm going to be working on next so I just wanted to show you what I did last uh, three hours or so and uh, what I have left to do today Plenty of daylight, it's just, uh, I get tired. Anyways, I'll show you guys how I end up. Talk to you guys later, bye-bye. Okay, this is what I found behind the aluminum skin in this one quarter, front quarter area. It's not that bad, but I just need to get in down there. And I'm glad I did because there is a lag bolt or not necessarily a lag bolt, but a bolt that goes through that piece right there, goes through the two by four down at the bottom and goes across. Now there's a couple other ones over here too. So see, I have to get on this side and replace, uh, remove at least this bottom one so that I can get to those pieces properly. And so that's next, but I am, going to have to remove this seat area remove it slide it out of the way so that I can get to the flooring I might have to lift up the flooring I don't know and uh, I have to replace a piece of the plywood there because it is just super soft so that's where I'm at I'm gonna keep going here. Oh, this I wanted to show you this here. I don't know if you guys remember, but in earlier videos I showed you an area where the uh, aluminum had been dented, and that's why right there. So obviously it hit something, or somebody hit it with something right there, but it caved in, and all that is bender board, bender board. And what it is, it's a thin, thin pieces of uh, plywood cut in uh, strips and being that they're plywood they do bend pretty easily especially if you get quarter inch or thinner it'll bend pretty easily and it makes the arch 
that you want here. So again, I'm gonna have to rebuild that, reconstruct that, and that'll fix that corner piece. You can see the aluminum right there where it's bent, but uh, I'm gonna just hammer it out a little bit. The aluminum is not torn. And then I'll show you the piece that goes on the outside that also shows that bent piece right there. See, so I'll hammer that out right in there and get that straightened out as fast. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna look like the rest, but at least it'll be straightened out and less chance of a leak happening. So, and with that, just wanted to show you what I found. I'm gonna keep digging and I'll show you later on. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey, -bye. Okay. all right, I'm back. So, this is what I found by removing this panel here. We're gonna take a look here. So you can see, there's my finger out, there it is. Uh, that whole bottom section. So that was covered, but now that it's exposed, I have to replace that piece. I have to replace that piece. So now, I find this interesting uh, that they use bender board. And all bender board is thin sheets of plywood wood cut in skinny slats. Then they're stapled or nailed and bent. And that's why they're called bender board. And um, they're very ingenious how they did it, uh, but I guess time consuming. I'm going to see if I can't put a rigid piece of wood in there. You can see it's right in there. That's and that's all deteriorated because you can see that it's lifting and rotted right in that area right there. And then we've got, let me back up right in there all of that that's rotten and and then the bender board that goes along the edge to make your curves or your radiuses uh, all of that is starting to deteriorate so i am gonna have to replace that and again that is now taking this piece off as well the back so to a certain point and I'll address that up here see that bender board up there that I pointed out earlier has to be replaced but see then they stop and then they put a rigid piece all the way across so it's just to a point so the whole roof is not gonna be I have to look at the roof anyways because of the interior damage that I have where the vent is at. And I'll show you that real quick. I'll just stick my hand, see right up in there. See, so I have to look at that. And the only way of looking at that is by removing what I can of the inside paneling, but also, let me see if you can see that in here, but also lifting the roof and uh, see what I can see on the roof because those pieces might need to be replaced, especially the long piece that goes across the top. So again, you know, this is why I say water, moisture of any type, letting it sit long periods of time, uh, not being able to dry out properly. Yeah, this stuff's gonna rot. And unfortunately, that's what causes these things to sag, fall apart, loose, wiggle, and before you know it, things are dropping off. So again, just wanted to show you where I'm at and what I have found. And yeah, you're gonna, you can't be afraid to dig in because you have to find it and replace it. If you don't, it's gonna come back and bite you. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.